we were actually approached, uh, along with the athletic department, by a former football player who's a med student now, Ben Landgraf, and he suggested this idea, and it got a lot of energy and a lot of excitement from all the people who were involved, so uh, here we are. It's really exciting to be here. A quick look will tell you the Badgers love their hair, but not so much they won't part with it for a good cause. Supporting cancer research at the American Family Children's Hospital. The player liaison, Kite, they both kind of, you know, came to me and they said, hey, you know, we're, we're interested in kind of getting this going and starting this, and would you be interested? And as soon as they approached me, I said, yeah, I mean, I'm in, so just, you know, count me in there. So They, they had asked for a couple guys with long hair to do it, uh, like Army and I think uh, Costigan, and they weren't sure about it. I was like, I'll do it if they're not. And then a lot of guys volunteered for it. Both having my mother and my grandmother go through breast cancer and all that treatments and stuff, I knew for sure I wanted to shave my head. Yeah, definitely personal and definitely something that I was interested in and uh, never been involved before, so I always wanted to try it, so it was a perfect opportunity. Obviously, ever since I was a little kid, I always looked up the Wisconsin Badgers and everyone that played football there and all that stuff that goes into it. And um, I mean, hopefully, I mean, obviously I'm not as like a huge name or anything like guys in the past, like Ron Dane or anything, but I mean, if it gets a message out that, I mean, we're all cutting our hair like this, and then people think it's a good thing, then I guess, I mean, as long as we're leaving a positive influence on people, that's good. Oh, you just see them brighten up when they, when they, you know, see the players, when they run out on the field. I mean, the whole experience gives them hope and, and you know, gives them a chance to keep, you know, that strength to keep going. You know, I hope that, you know, it, it made the kids, you know, day a little better, you know, gave them, you know, a few laughs, a few smiles, you know, got to know them and hopefully they thought that this was a pretty cool experience and kind of lifted their spirits a little bit. I had a uh, Hadley and she was uh, cute as ever and she uh, did a pretty good job. So uh, I was happy with it and she had a lot of fun doing it. So it was good. I think it did it for a good cause and obviously put some smiles on some young kids' faces and, you know, they're they're going through a lot. So it's good to, good to see. They're always having a good time. You know, they're great kids. They've been through a lot. You know, they've dealt with a lot of adversity just like this, you know, just like our team in a lot of cases. So, you know, you know they're going through a lot, but in a lot of ways they're just like us. Uh, you know, so they like to have a good time and for us to be able to make their day is really something special. We get to do so much outside of events like this. We get to go visit schools and do multiple things for children and I love doing it and it's always a great time. So when they presented this to me, I knew I wanted to do it. I think everybody on the team agrees that we like to give back and it's something that we really, you know, pride ourselves on. Patients from the hospital enjoyed a pizza party in the locker room and the honor of shaving the players' heads. Though it took a few young volunteers to shear through Ethan Armstrong's shoulder length locks. Yeah, a little over a year, so it's been a long time. A little bit of attachment, but it'll take a little while to get used to, I think. But, you know, I, I, I can dig it, I guess. I didn't sacrifice uh, as many inches as he did, but I feel like I sacrificed quite a bit. Uh, so I've never had my hair this short, and it's okay. Kids got a good laugh out of it, so it was good. I know it'll grow back. Um, I'm not like Patterson going bald, so. You know, I think I'm going to make this look work. Uh, I'm one of those guys where I already had the uh, nice receding hairline, so I just kind of made it work, and I'm one of those guys who I've already accepted my role. But, uh, you know, it's for a great cause, and I, you know, I think we'll end up coming out on top here. The Badgers have a long-standing relationship with the Children's Hospital, one of the many beneficiaries of the more than 1,000 hours of community service the team has logged since May. A lot of people don't realize is the kind of care and the research that's being done here at the University of Wisconsin at American Family Children's Hospital. We are breaking ground on some really incredible new discoveries. Uh, a lot of world-class research is being done here. And these patients, many of the kids that are here, are benefiting from that research. And so I think that's the, the key message we want to get out is there are you know, kids in the Madison area that are really fighting, literally fighting for their lives. And the support of the Badgers, the support of people in our community is really key to helping, helping them do that. For the Badger Sports Report, I'm Ashley Hearn.